Oh, that's that's great. <laughs> I'm gonna try and make one fun. like as sad as possible. Do a sad yeah. horn blow. Mm-hmm. Pretty sad, but still kind of happy. <laughs> Oh, this well, is fun. Welcome to a work in progress. We're celebrating today. Yay! We made it to 21 we, episodes. I made it to episode 21. Which is apparently a big deal. Yeah, but uh, like to us it's That's been. That's what we've heard. To us it's been a big deal. Outstanding. Yeah. How you doing? <laughs> Do you feel 21? I'm feeling you 21 really cute with the hat. episodes. Oh, thanks. You look really cute. Oh, uh, you know, I'm going to add it to my repertoire. You should. You yeah. should lead class. Lead class with the hat on? At the gym, yeah. Think people would enjoy that? I think so. Is this mine? Is this it's for yours. me? Yeah, Thank you. For you. Thanks very much. You're welcome. Um, how are you doing? I'm doing well. It's been a minute since we've recorded because... It's been, it's, it feels like it's been a month. Yeah. I don't think it's actually I, been a month. I think it's month. been like two and a half, three weeks. Yeah, maybe. Something like that. Close to a month then. That's pretty close. <laughs> it's pretty close. <laughs> but we're back with a vengeance. We're ready. That wasn't convincing. <laughs> oh, man. How do you deal with, um, like, leading sermons or, like, church days where, like, you just don't have it? Like, you're... Because, mm. I, I mean, I've never noticed it, but um, what do you... How do you deal with that? Like, you just put on a show as best you can to, like, hide the fact that, like, things... Like, you're struggling or like you're tired. Like, I don't tired. have it, like, emotionally or I'm not prepared. No, not, I mean, I'm, I'm sure, like, even if you're not prepared, you're experienced enough that you could just, you know, yeah. fill in the blanks. But if, like, emotionally, mentally, or even just physically, like, mm. let's just say you're exhausted yeah. in whatever capacity, like, how do you handle that? So that, that is one of, the, I think, one of the big differences between our contexts is mm-hmm. that, like, I have the privilege of, especially with our church community and the culture that we've built and everything, with just being honest and oh. just saying, okay, it's been a rough week. This yeah. sermon is hard. It's going to be hard for me to preach, mm. um, but let's do it together mm. type thing. Nice. Whereas I don't feel like you nef- necessarily within the gym context have that freedom. Um, not really because I guess there's different tones you can ha- take through a church service. Totally. And one of those tones could be like g- going through struggle together. Somber, exactly. Right? And that's fine. That's just a different like <laughs> tone. My, I have one tone and it's let's get after it. I'm going to yeah. try and push you through. And it's like, yeah. So some days when I'm playing like soft, like emotional music (laughs) in the gym. (laughs) Yeah. Everybody. Everybody. (laughs) Oh yeah. So uh, I just kind of have to fake it basically. Yeah. Do do you, does that come up often? Mm, No, which is good. Um, And I think what helps me sometimes too, is like, if I am tired or like it, you know, whatever the people, in the classroom yeah. kind of either help me like forget because I'll get yeah. into conversations get, like, with people. like this burst of a high. Yeah. And when people come in, yeah. I'll get that bump of energy from mm-hmm. other people. Yeah. So the electricity in the room helps. And they always leave. And then they always leave. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think I'm going to do D hat at this point. D hat. It doesn't yeah. fit the mood. I'm going to D hat to flip it to a go. beard. Do a goatee. <laughs> Party goatee. <laughs> I don't think that's working. If uh, if you're a listener only, you you got to check out the video and oh, see. Oh, that's right. We have people that just listen. Yeah, they're like, what are they talking, are they talking about? about? No, we were wearing silly party hats. Yeah. And we blew um, horns to at the celebrate beginning. the moment of what I mentioned one time because I saw one <laughs> clip one time. It's fact. It's fact. Of uh, one guy saying that one's podcast make it to episode 21 statistically they're in the top one percent of all yeah. podcasts because most don't make it that far yeah so we made it to 21 so that means we're one of the best podcasts ever made of all time top one percent top one percent baby um yeah and you get to talk about stuff like this yeah i was yeah. thinking about something mm. sometimes when i get like frustrated or like down on myself yeah recently i remembered because sometimes we're like like oh man like i stink or i can't do it or whatever mm. and then i remembered when i was like in seventh grade when i had a crush on a girl mm. i would dial a landline with the risk of her parents answering the phone totally talk to her father and say hi can i talk to your daughter mm. 
And when I remember that, I remember I can do anything. (laughs) Because the fear that you have to overcome (laughs) as like a 13 year old boy, calling a lamp, just hearing it ring, ring. He's like, oh, please, please don't have your parents pick up. Hello. Oh, hello, sir. (laughs) I would like to confer with your daughter about things. See, I, uh, I never had that problem because I never called a girl. Oh, so. it's <laughs> petrifying. Not only is that terrifying, then when you're like 13, 14, and uh, you got to have a conversation with the girl you kind of have mm. a crush on, and you're talking to them, you got to come That's up with terrifying. ideas. Hey, what's your favorite animal? Well, I, I, that was stupid question. <laughs> stupid sorry, question. sorry. And then you're like not listening to their answer at all because oh, you're trying to think just, of the next question. Yeah. It's like George Costanza talking about like coming up with a list of things to talk about on the phone. Yeah, it's a real thing. When I was around 13, I wasn't allowed to have a girlfriend because of sure. my age or anything. Sure, sure. But there was this uh, young lady in our church who I was fond of mm. and she was fond of me. Ooh. Was her and, name uh, Jane? It was not Jane. Oh. Why would it be Jane? Fonda. <laughs> <laughs> that was high level. That was really high level. That was good. Thank you. Oh, that was good. I was fond of, and she I'm was fond be, of me. I'm gonna be chuckling in bed at that one tonight. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Why would her name be Jane? Jane Fonda. <laughs> Anyways, please go on. Her name was Cammy Gordon. Mm. She will never listen to this, so You're that's right. okay. That's fair. <laughs> Um, but, uh, so, so she wasn't allowed to be my girlfriend, obviously. So she was my more than a friend, Mm. what we called it. And at school at the time we were in English class, we were journaling. We had to journal. Mm -hmm. So you would journal about your day or whatever. And then if there was anything private in it, you'd, you'd close the page and staple it so Mm. that nobody could see it, but you still journaled. And, uh, and one time I wrote about my more than a friend. Ooh. And how much, how how fond I was of her, and um, <laughs> but I forgot to close the page and staple it. Oh no! And then uh, um, we went away on vacation, and I woke up to my family in the living room reading that page out loud <laughs> about my more than a friend. The ultimate and I was torture. Devastated, man! I was <sighs> devastated. Brutal. Everyone has since apologized, and we have we have dealt with it all. But, wow! But oh my word, was it more embarrassment, or were you more scared of like getting in trouble for uh, having on more than a friend? Uh, probably a little bit of both. Yeah, that's, no, that's fair. That's mm. fair. Mm. Uh, yeah, I was definitely embarrassed. Yeah. Um, but then, yeah, without a doubt, there was this. What are my parents going to think that? I sure hope this system. goes. I hope this goes viral. This is our episode that goes Kimmy viral, so that she finds it. That would be it's so not her name anymore. She's oh. uh, she's married. Okay. Uh, we're friends on Facebook, but I don't okay. remember what her married I'm, name is. I'm gonna. I I'm gonna hope Cammy. this one. Everyone like and share so that this gets to Cammy. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> that would make me so happy. I have. Uh, she probably doesn't even remember who I am. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> it's not. I wouldn't say a similar story, but it's a lateral type story. Of uh, uh, Valentine's Day in fourth grade. Mm, wow! And in fourth grade, you know, crushes are very mild. Yeah. Um, and it's very awkward. You know, mm. fourth graders are awkward. Yeah. But it was a Valentine's Day, and you know, we do like pass around candy and like little cards and stuff, whatever. So I had a crush on this girl, and I put a, I did like a secret admirer note. Oh wow. And I put it in her backpack. Yeah. And I said, hey, like, I don't even remember what I said. I just remember say, put writing like, hey, like, I think you're cute or I like you or I have a crush on you or whatever. And then I didn't sign my name. So I was like, a, like a, yeah. whatever. I put it in her. I like am so nervous to like go sneak it into her backpack because our yeah. backpacks are in the hall. Like oh, the hall Lord. of the whole school. They're just hanging out and there. Like this whole process must have taken so much courage. Oh, man. Like you dwelt on terrifying. this for a while. Terrifying. Came I'm up just with like, the I perfect go plan. Gotta go for it. So I put it into her backpack. After school, 
So like, yeah, after classes end for the day and we all go get our things and yeah. we start packing up for the day. I know she's going to see it. Our teacher's name is Mr. Watts. Mm. She finds a note and instead of like what I as assumed a reaction would be like, oh, who's this? Yeah. Kind of like whispering with her friends, you know, like yeah, wonder what's going on. Mm. You know, that's kind of what I thought would happen. Yeah. She looks at it. She reads it. Confused says, Mr. Watts. Somebody put a note in my backpack. You're kidding. Me. And I just shrunk into like a raisin. Like I just shriveled up and oh I was like, my, I will goodness. never admit to that being me. Like, <laughs> Until now. Who's going to, and he's like, who, who wrote a note and put it in her backpack? And I'm just like, who's going to admit to who's that? Who's going to admit to that? Like, did he know the contents of the note or not? I, I don't, I think she brought it up to him and was like, oh my. Mr. Watts, someone put a note in my bag. I'm just mm. like, but I mean, fourth graders are going to be fourth graders. What are you going to do? Oh my word. But yeah, that was, that was rough. Wow. Rough time. What was her name? <laughs> uh, Fonda. <laughs> her name was Fonda. We could, we could just send this link to these. Like, I want you to know how terrified we were. Did you ever use uh like AOL instant messenger? Oh yeah. I, so I, uh, I guess I don't anymore. I don't have anything. But my a AIM account was Burke Junior Ten. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow, you still remember? Yeah, because nice. my brother's nickname was Burke, so I was Burke Junior, mm. and I wasn't athletic to have a jersey number, so I used his jersey <laughs> number Ten. Nice. I really looked up to my brother. Uh, I, yeah. <laughs> same. Junior. Same. Oh yeah. Did you use it? What? AIM? Oh yeah, dude. After oh. school, it was like, who's on? Let me chat with oh, my yeah. friends. It was it was like the original texting. Yeah, it yeah. was awesome. Mm -hmm. and it was really fun, and I had like uh, emoticons and oh, dude, and you could like see who was like oh they they're away from um they were here five minutes ago and now yeah. they're away, but like kind of waiting for them to come back. And you could do like away messages, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You when could... yeah, Instagram started doing that, and I like had a flashback to oh eight. really? Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. It has like away messages now. Um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, but I had the reason I brought that up was like the awkwardness of elementary school and stuff. Like I had a, an AOL aim instant messenger, um, like girlfriend that was, mm. that I went to school with. Oh, wow. So I was talking at school too. No, no, <laughs> just on it. We were in like seventh or eighth grade and it's still really awkward. <laughs> just ignored each yeah, other. Dude, it was so funny looking back. We're oh, like, that's so funny. we're like messaging each other. Like, you know, like kind of flirting a little bit yeah. and, and then, uh, I can't remember if it was me or her. It was like, hey, do you want to be like my internet boyfriend, girlfriend, or what? whatever? And, they, and we were like, sure. Right. But we would like talk before that and uh -huh. like we'd be friendly and stuff. But as soon as that like Stop that happened, in <laughs> we were like, sure, let's do that. But then like when we see each other the next day, you're just like, I don't know who you are. Like the awkwardness is so oh my strong. <laughs> Goodness. You don't have any like charisma as an eighth grader. <laughs> well, like, come on, you're spitting game on dude, the instant no messenger. Chance. When you get in no person. chance. Yeah, dude, it's so easy over the keyboard, man. <laughs> and then you see him, you're just like <coughs> frozen. Like, oh, oh, did, was that really her? Does she remember? <laughs> Maybe she forgot. I hope she right, forgot. She forgot. Ah, uh, what do we wasn't wait. actually talking to her. Man, that was so that uh, dude. And, Elementary school is just brutal in general. Mm -hmm. Did you have middle school or like junior high or did you um, just have? I had both. <laughs> okay. Weird. My school system was first through fifth grade was elementary. Mm -hmm. Sixth and seventh grade was middle school. Eighth and ninth grade was junior high. Oh. And 10th through 12th grade was high school. Oh, that's interesting. It was. It was interesting. I think it was just like because of building sizes or oh, something. Like that, that makes sense. Yeah, we did K through eighth. So it was kindergarten through eighth grade. And everybody, but like, where was junior, where was junior high at? We, we didn't have junior high. It was uh, uh, first grade. What was you called it? Grade school. I'm really confused by that. Yeah. No, I, I actually didn't even know what middle school or junior high was. I was so you confused, legitimately I was just had by a that. grade school and a high school. That was it. Keep it super simple. And was like all the grade school in the same building and mm -hmm. the high school in a different building? Yep. Yeah. Oh. So um, as, so we had like a Wells Synod. So all the mm -hmm. Wells grade schools. Yeah. And then we had the one high school that most of the grade schools, like when you finished eighth grade, you would go to that high school. Oh. So it was preschool through eighth grade was one building. And then um, when you finished eighth grade, you'd go to high school, which is freshman through senior. Yeah. 
So we didn't have like a ninth grade. It was freshman year. You're freshman. freshman. Yeah. 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 That makes sense, I guess. Yeah. So everything else was, was odd to me. So when you say, yeah, because like, how old are you when you're 13? What grade are you in when you're 13? Seventh, so, maybe eighth grade. Gotcha. So is that what, when you're saying elementary, you mean that even? Yeah. Technically, oh, I would right. say elementary school. That makes like sense. I said, we call it grade school, but to yeah. me, elementary and grade school are interchangeable. Gotcha. So like for me, elementary school is through eighth grade. Yeah. But... Yeah, that makes sense. Because my because my junior high years were like my awkward, super awkward mm-hmm. years. Yeah, so I'd say. So like fifth through eighth grade was really, uh, sixth through eighth grade was really awkward yeah. for me. Oh, yeah. Which I think it is for most kids. Really, really awkward. I feel like if you're like, if you like you have it, your your own self like figured out and like you have self-confidence mm-hmm. at that age, like you might be a psychopath. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Like, well, I always wonder. Like, aren't the- you supposed to be like weird and awkward and like. Were you like a cool kid though? No, you weren't. I mean, I played. You seem like you would have been a cool kid. I was a cool kid in high school. I would say. Okay. Yeah. And I wouldn't even like. I guess I'm. I wouldn't say I'm cool, but I would say. Cool. Uh, I think you're cool. I was like I had friends. I played sports. I yeah dated girls. I mm. went to parties or like get together. You were one of those. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say like I had was, friends. <laughs> <laughs> I made the homecoming court. Mm. You know, um. No, but I, I wouldn't say like I was a cool kid. But like the crazy thing is like even in junior high, middle school, there's those cool kids. Were you not in that group? What's junior high? What what oh, age? Sorry, like uh, eighth? seventh and eighth grade. We'll say seventh and eighth grade. Yeah, they were cool kids, but those are. I feel like that was just like obnoxious kids. Mm. Like I, you're still weird and awkward, I think, but you just like you have uh, misplaced confidence. Maybe. Yeah. Or no, you just mean was, a lot of those a kids are mean. Crew of cool kids in my junior high and middle mm, school. Sure, they were very friendly to me. Oh. I think I was kind of like their, like their project. <laughs> like they felt sorry for me. Okay, so they were like, "Come sit with us. You're mm. the weird kid. Oh, you don't have any the friends. pastor's the kid. The pastor's kid. Well, and that's the thing because some of the cool kids went to the church. Uh-huh. Um, so they would. So we went to like Sunday school together and sure. stuff. Yeah, and so then they would incorporate me in. Mm-hmm. Cool kids. That makes sense. Cool kids. But I've always wondered, like, where are the middle school cool kids at now? Mm. And I went to a different place in middle school than I did high school. So I always wondered, did the middle school cool transfer into the high school cool? That's a great question. I don't know. What's the percentage of that transfer? Yeah, what's the, what's the coolness <laughs> transfer? <laughs> How long does coolness last? <laughs> yeah, but then when you're an adult, it's kind of like the weird... Uh, interesting people are the cool people. Then. Totally. When you're, you're like, an adult, oh, wow. like the like, unexpected ones come out. Yeah. And you're like, yeah. whoa, didn't they see that coming? Mm-hmm. And then some of the high school cool people will like try and jump on bandwagons of like the now nerdy adult cool people. It's like, mm. oh, I was always into Star Wars and Harry Potter yeah. too. It's like, no, you weren't. You were not. You beat me up you and threw me up against the lockers. You wore a Yoda hoodie. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, without a doubt. But yeah, it's crazy to see just life stages like that. Mm-hmm. I think Q is too far up in the alphabet. Yeah. Don't you think? <laughs> it's right what's, after P. What's your reasoning? Because <laughs> after Q is R, S, T. R, S, and T are incremental, instrumental, very, RST are very important. Letters. They should be like in the middle. RST should be gotcha. like in the center of the alphabet. So in this theory, the important letters are in the middle. If in my who theory, determines the, who picked it? Man, Maybe there's... they had the tune first. This great song called "Twinkle Twinkle Little Star." Wait, but let's do. Have you never noticed it's the same tune? No. Is it Twinkle Twinkle? <laughs> it's Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. I did not know that. That makes me mad. Banger of a song. Twinkle, Why does Twinkle, that make me song. mad that that's <laughs> the case? I feel <laughs> gypped. I I feel gypped. I've been ripped off. Couldn't come up with two different melodies. Wow. <laughs> Sharing melodies for kids. <laughs> Man, this guy named Roger came up with Twinkle Twinkle, and then they were trying to come up with a tune for ABCs. And he's like, "Guys, I got we one. don't need to reinvent the wheel here. <laughs> That's right. When we got something as perfect as Twinkle Twinkle, That's right. let's just keep it, baby. Let's roll keep with the it. Bob's rolling. Oh, that makes me mad. No, it's fine. That's good. Um, but no, like after Q is R S T, and then it's 
UV, W, X, Y, Z, like all the yeah. weird. I feel like those go well together. Yeah, Q should be back with them. Probably with them. Wouldn't You're it make right. Also, no, that's, that's fair. I get that. Wouldn't it make perfect sense to put Q right before the U? Because most Q-U. letters that Q is, most words Q yeah, is in U is Q-U. With Q-U. Yeah. So it should be L-M-N-O-P-R-S-T-Q-U. That was impressive. Right? Wow. Thank you. Your mind is working. Can you say the alphabet backwards? Nope. <laughs> Z. <laughs> I'm not even going to try. How Z, that would, yeah, how that would go for a. me is I would start with A yeah. and go all the way through Z, W, X, Y, Z, W, X, Y, X, W, T, U, V, W. Yeah, like that. I would have to do it like that. Say the alphabet 26 <laughs> times. Basically. <laughs> basically. So I could do it backwards. It would just take me about five Is minutes. Is it true that, that that's like a test for like drunk driving? I don't think so. There's no way. Sober people Most can't sober do that. people couldn't do that. I don't think. Z, Y, X. Sure, I can. Let me just say Siri. Yeah. You know, uh-huh. Pull Boom. it up. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's got to be like a valid reason for why the letters are where they are. And uh, maybe I, I doubt I, it. <laughs> I think so much of the our things, alphabet wasn't the first alphabet, and our alphabet is based on other alphabets. Yeah, and so the original alphabets. I don't know wh- where the original alphabet. This is someone that knows far more than me. Yeah, should comment. I doubt it. I think know. most of the stuff that we think has, <laughs> has a reason to it is it just some guy. Suck. Like guy, guy number one, who was ever was in charge of the council yeah. meeting. He showed up one day. And he's like, "All right, guys, here we go. Just put it in alphabetical order." There, there was no <laughs> alphabetical order. That's what they were deciding. They were, they were guys. How about we do alphabetical order? And everyone just I like, wonder. Oh, what, isn't that what we're here to determine? I wonder what. Um, it, what the alphabet would be like in alphabetical order if the letters were spelled phonetically. Wow. Ugh, that what? <laughs> would it be the, it wouldn't the be the same. The letters were spelled it? phonetically. Maybe it would be the same. You mean like W would be D? Yeah. Like that? Because yeah. it sounds like duh. Yeah, duh. And, and but like most Q of would the, be like maybe like C. Mm. Start go back with the C. But C's. then it could be a K too. Yeah, it could be. Yeah. Yeah. Of the English language is rough. It's very rough. I'm just glad I didn't have to learn it. Seriously, learning like, English as is a, a second, second language. language. No, thank you. I feel Oof, sorry God. for them. I feel yeah. sorry. I feel sorry. Yeah. For them. Um, another random thought. We have a pumpkin fall themed t- towel that I've been folding since like June. Yeah. Does it just keep getting? And washed? It keeps getting washed and oh, used. Man. And I'm like, those are great. Shouldn't this be in a box somewhere <laughs> labeled fall? And we pull it out for the fall season. It should be. It feels weird in but June, laundry, July, and August. <laughs> I'm drying my hands off or wiping something up with a pumpkin oh, towel. So you still use the towel? Oh, it's being it's in circulation. It's in circulation. <laughs> it's actually being used. See what what I refer to is my toxic trait of how we're not supposed to be using this or oh, this doesn't fit. We'll just put it back with the dirty clothes for now. Ah, uh, sure. <laughs> just it just keeps getting. Washed. I will do that when I'm like trying to clean. <laughs> Yeah. Like a, a bedroom or a mm-hmm. living room or something. If there's something that's on the border of maybe this was just washed yeah. and it's just not where it should be, yeah. it's going back in the it's wash. In the I'm wash. just grabbing everything totally. in sight yep. and it's all going. It's all good. Yeah. It's just easier. Yeah. Yeah. Without a doubt. But so, mm-hmm. but your pumpkin towel, it's a regularly used towel. Yeah. I just <laughs> don't care for it. Mm. I almost thought about cleaning up like, you know, there's like the, the <laughs> each towel has a final mission. <laughs> Each His purpose each is and every ultimate towel. Purpose. They don't know when it's coming. You don't know when it's coming. But there's a day where you decide there's a mess and it's like either muddy or worse. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. It could be a brutal mission and that's the closest towel. And you're like, you know what? This towel's had a good it's had life. A good run. It's had a good it's run. It's had a good run. And yeah. this is how it goes out. It's leaving it a goes, legacy. It's like, just scoop it up, whatever. <laughs> right. And swipe it all up, and it's garbage. <laughs> bye bye, towel. <laughs> Growing up, those towels would be destroyed, mm. rewashed, realized that it can never get back to its original form, mm. and then thrown in a bucket in the garage to wash cars. For rags. Yeah, yeah a rag. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense, too. 
Yeah. That there's some jobs that you can't come back from. We have we have one <laughs> towel that has like a hole in it. I don't mm-hmm. know why it's still used. It's still in circulation too. And every time I dry off or something gets dried off, like the hole just gets a little bit bigger. <laughs> it just gets a little bit bigger. It's the perfect spot to hang it. That's or right. use it as like a poncho <laughs> right over your head. That's you never right. know. One of those poncho towels. Those That's poncho what towels. it is. That's it. Making my own. Yeah. Making my way downtown. I was thinking that too. <laughs> yeah. Good taste. You gonna put one on? I might try a different colored hat. Oh, was that the problem? The color? No, I enjoyed the color. I just like variety. Let's go with the white one. Yeah. So uh, you're getting a new tattoo soon. Ah, uh, yeah. We'll we'll see what she. Well, we, well, I thought we decided on one. So okay. the backstory is, I lost a competition at the gym, and one of the pen, penalties punishments was I have to get a tattoo of the design done by the person who beat me. Mm-hmm. Uh, her name is Anum, and she beat me. And uh, I think she's going to do something in... So she's from India. Oh. She's... I th- so I'm, I'm going to be uh, ignorant on this, but she said Punjabi and Hindi. And I can't remember which one is the language. Mm. I think it might be Punjabi, but I can't remember. So it... And she showed me a couple like things like uh, words or sayings that they have that are mm-hmm. pretty common. Um, one of them, I think it was like no enemy, no fear, something oh, wow. like that. And the way it looks is super artistic and cool. Like how yeah. the, their, um, their alphabet. Yeah. So it l- looks really cool. I was like, let's just get that. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, That's t- what, that would be a cool one. That, would, that wouldn't be a yeah. bad punishment. No, I think, I think we might do that. Yeah. That's probably what's going to happen. So yeah, we kind of got to figure it out. Gotcha. But now she, she keeps sending me like different random ones. She's like, Hey, what about this? I'm like, I thought we had it. Like I thought we were going to do this. <laughs> but then she'll come up with like a, she'll find a funny picture and be like, Hey, maybe we'll do this instead. I'm like, stop she's taunting ta- you. Stop taunting me. She's taunting she'll just you. She'll pick it and be done. That'll be cool. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. How did that challenge go? How are you feeling since? Uh, the challenge went really well. I did really well. I felt really good. Um, and I fell off the wagon hard. Mm. So, and I'm really like pretty f- upset with myself about it. Yeah. Um, and then when I get upset with myself about it, I continue down the negative cycle of like, you know, the negative self-talk and like, yeah. oh, well I suck already. So might as well just keep yeah. skipping workouts and eating junk food mm. and feeling like, like not good. Yeah feeling like a towel on its last mission mm. you know not on your last mission yeah no, i get that that's 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 hard to to bounce back from when you, yeah. when you get off of it yeah but you know that and that's why people love you because you can relate with them mm-hmm. yeah i was thinking about that how oftentimes and we've talked about this before like when we pray for stuff god doesn't give you the end result he gives you a journey to figure out and f- you'll get what you prayed for at the end of it. Yeah. But sometimes you're just like, okay, let's get to the end of this lesson plan. Like Mm. I'm ready to, I'm ready to have it learned. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. And I don't want to have to go through the struggle of learning it anymore. Yeah. Um, But that's just part of it. It's totally, yeah. I think life continues to give us lessons until we learn it. Yeah. And if we keep doing the same mistakes or the same things that have given us struggles in the past Mm -hmm. and let you know, God, life, whatever, like is like, Hey, um, we need you to fix this up and not do this anymore. It's going to keep giving you that until you're like, okay, fine. Like I'll, I'll fix it. I'll correct it. I'll learn from my mistakes and make the adjustments. That's what I do envy about Solomon that he just, that God gave him the gift of wisdom and boom, wisdom. Well, he does say that. But we don't know if he didn't go through things to, to, to gain get, it. To gain wisdom. He could have. I mean, there's a lot of things where there's blanks in yeah. the Bible that we can make assumptions about. Yeah. But it's possible that the majority of his adult life was circumstances and situations that he learned just quicker through. Yeah. And God would just put him through the, you know, mm. the, the fast paced learning instead of yeah. lifelong learning. Yeah. It's possible. I feel like that's what I'm going through a lot of times is the oh. fast paced learning. All right, here you go. New lesson. Yeah, new, new lesson. lesson. New lesson. It's like, stop it. Mm-hmm. When's recess? When's recess? <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> when's recess? <laughs> yeah. Speaking of which, isn't it a terrible like idea for when kids are naughty in school they don't to get keep recess. them in for recess? Yeah. When they need to like 
get all that energy out to like calm down important thing for them why don't you go sit in the corner and get even angrier and more annoyed so that you're more of a nuisance for the rest of the day what would you say is an ideal consequence um i can't say on (laughs) on, i probably can't say on the podcast (laughs) yeah i know it's probably frowned upon it's called the uh the best way (laughs) no no it's all good Whatever, uh, whatever the listener thinks is best. I had to, uh, best. so, um, I was a pretty good kid in elementary. First of all, did you know that at least at, at, in our districts, uh, middle school, junior high, and maybe this was the way with years because it was all elementary. They still have recess in like seventh and eighth grade. Yeah. No, did you have yeah, recess we had, in seventh and eighth I think grade? they got, uh, less and shorter. Okay. But yeah, th- um, so we, you know, kindergarten through eighth grade, the same building. Everyone had uh, at least one recess. Yeah, I stopped having recess in, in fourth or fifth grade. Oh, what a mistake. Yeah, no, we had it through eighth, I think. Yeah. And then even in like high school, we had like phi ed and stuff, which was basically recess. P. Gotcha, yeah. phi ed. Yeah. Physical. You guys just abbreviate it more than us. <laughs> Some people call it phys ed. Phys ed, yeah. Physical education. Yeah. Phys ed. Phi ed. ed P. Yeah. There you go. Gym class. Gym. It's just mm-hmm. a new word entirely. <laughs> Um, yeah, but then, yeah, that's, that's your opportunity to run around and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. But they have, uh, they have phi ed and recess. It's crazy. Yeah. But when I was in, uh, elementary, I was a pretty good kid. I didn't get in trouble that much. Mm-hmm. Um, but there were two times that I remember getting in trouble and I remember the consequence. One was I was talking, um, at lunch mm. when we were supposed to have like a quiet time to just eat or something because kids don't eat. <laughs> Unless they're quiet. Um, and so I had to come in and take a handful of nuts out of the barrel. Because like if we if we did good things, we put a handful of nuts in the barrel. And when the barrel was full of nuts, then, oh. then we would get a reward. Mm. But I had to take a handful of nuts out of the barrel. And then everyone just... Yeah. And yeah, it was... That's not a terrible idea because then you get the scrutiny of your classmates as well. <laughs> As far as punishment, that's right. That's not bad. So that was public one. humiliation. Public, humi- that's like public <laughs> that's, humiliation. That's, that's my number one in, in now. Third I grade. My mind. <laughs> that's Actually, that's grade. what I was going to say before. Public humi- I just didn't want to get in trouble <laughs> for right. saying it. Yeah, just have the child stand in front of the class and everybody make fun of them. Dunce cap. Right. <laughs> the dunce cap. Yeah, that was the idea of the dunce cap, right? I guess so. Yeah. The other one, I had to um, write a sentence a hundred times or something like that. Yeah. Because I cut in line. Yeah. Some of those punishments are lame. Yeah. It's just crazy how, and we've talked about this, like school and everything is a specific way of doing things, a specific style of discipline, Mm -hmm. a specific style of education Mm -hmm. geared toward a specific type of person. Mm -hmm. But there's, there's so many different, like even like, you know, this, like Mm -hmm. as parents, you know, that there's not one form of discipline that works for every kid. Yeah. Right. Like you, you can ground a child and that not be a big deal for one and it'd be catastrophic for another. Yeah, if your kid loves reading yeah. and alone time, you're grounded. Oh, thanks. Sweet. I can go read. Right. I'll I can see go you hang out in my room. Yeah, I'll see you in six months. <laughs> How long can I be grounded for? Yeah. Yeah. But you got a real social kid who wants to go outside and play with his friends. Grounding is like yeah. the, the end of the world. Exactly. Yeah. So, but with schools, like it's so focused. I mean, that's got to be a challenge for teachers too is to yeah. got a class of... 20, 30 kids. That's why I think like the Montessori style is making Mm -hmm. a pretty big push. It is. A lot of people are very interested in it. And I like that idea too, because it's like if your kid excels in like, let's say music or something like that, then they can push through that faster and make leaps and bounds faster. But let's say they struggle with math. It's like, okay, well then you can spend more time with them one-on-one yeah. as opposed to like, they really need more time with that and less time on other things. Yeah. And then they can cruise on the things that come easy to them mm. and be like at an eighth grade level when they're in like fourth grade yeah. and certain things, but they really should be still on second grade level in fourth grade. Mm. But the last two teachers just passed them through because they don't want to have to deal with it or they didn't want them to feel behind or whatever. Mm. And now they're, now they're too far ahead and they yeah. can't catch up. So I think the self-paced per category of like learning. Is that what is Montessori of, is? I think that's a piece of it. It's a lot more hands-on mm. stuff and it's a lot more personal catered yeah. to their speed. I think it would be hard to do that with like the masses though. With like a large group. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'd, I don't think they do like huge groups. I think it's 
We would have smaller, pretty, smaller pretty groups. Focused. Yeah. Or a lot more staff. Yeah. Right. That too. Mm. Mm. Makes but sense. both have their challenges for sure. Yeah. But school know. wasn't meant to be like, Hey, let's make sure these kids get the best and thrive. become the best they can. No, it's let's get a daycare mm-hmm. for all these kids. And if we can teach them something, that's great. <laughs> Let's at least make them good enough to hold a job down so yeah. that they can pay their taxes. Yeah. And the difference between like a good teacher and a bad teacher, like you just, it's, it's roll the dice, man. Mm-hmm. It's roll well, the dice. And then when you get like a good teacher, it seems like such a stark contrast yeah. to the other ones. It's like, oh man, like I love this yeah. teacher. This teacher did a great job. Yeah. And usually it's the teachers that not only just care about the kids, but also are at least somewhat passionate about what they're, what they're teaching. teaching yeah. Cause you can feel that through yeah. their presentation stuff. And you have that from people that like, I mean, I was just talking to a middle schooler who, who hated Spanish one mm-hmm. year and then the next year had a great teacher and mm-hmm. it was like all in for Spanish. Yeah. Want to do everything with mm-hmm. Spanish. Yeah. That yeah. happens a lot. Mm-hmm. It's, it's tough though. Cause like, I think teachers want to make it fun, but then there could mm-hmm. also be like one or two students that like ruin it. You know, now, now, okay, we can't have fun anymore. And now everyone else is bored and annoyed. Mm-hmm. And, you know, and all the teachers are like, well, we can't do it because these kids can't handle the yeah. whatever curriculum we were going to do. Teaching is hard. Oh, can't imagine. It's brutal. Yeah. Do you have a favorite teacher growing up? Um, Shout out time. Um, In high school, I had two teachers I really liked. Mr. Walls was our history teacher. Mm-hmm. Who I really liked because he was like sarcastic and mm-hmm. so like that. He was a guy who I still remember one time he said his, uh, do- he's got daughters. And it was mm. funny cause he was like a hard nosed dude, like football coach. And, uh, yeah. I think God gives those like hard nosed guys, daughters more times oh, than not yeah. to like soften them up. But anyway, so he's got, uh, he was telling us a story about one of his daughters got hurt doing something. Mm. And, like, and, he, and she was like, daddy, daddy, it hurts when I do this. And he was like, well, don't do that. Like whatever, like it hurts yeah. when I do this. And he was like, yeah. okay, don't do that. I was like, nice. I nice. like that. Yeah, that That's, works. That is sound advice. <laughs> it hurts when I do this. Don't do that. Don't do it. Which is also my theory at the gym. Problem solved. Pete, it hurts when I do this. Nice. Stop don't, doing. No, don't do that. Yeah. Don't do that. <laughs> um, and then he had this very, um, eccentric, uh, shop teacher mm. who like would play Christmas music in September wow. and like was just kind of nutty, mm. but brilliant. Yeah. Like when you think of like kind of crazy, brilliant pre- people, yeah, this is that guy like super, super smart with, oh, uh, like he was an electrical engineer at one oh, point. Oh my word. Uh, he, he was teaching shop. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and we did like all the AutoCAD and all the woodwork and all the Man, electrical awesome. little engineering kind of mm-hmm. classes and stuff. And it was so fun. And he was a, it was he made the classes fun because that's gotta it was be cool different. to like have that experience of seeing a shop teacher being super intellectual. Because so often, like the emphasis of, mm-hmm. of intellect is given to like the sciences yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. But to have like to to have those two connect mm-hmm. of like getting your hands dirty, mm-hmm. but you can also but be an intellectual person. Yeah, he like brought the science into it. That's which really, was cool. really cool. Yeah, that's really cool. How about you? Do you have some favorite teachers? Uh, yeah, I had a lot of favorite teachers. I had uh, Mrs. Brolt who taught me math in high school. I had uh, Mrs. Hall who's my fourth grade teacher. Uh, Miss Robin and Miss Margaret who were my like kindergarten teachers in Mexico. I like still keep in touch with them. They are awesome. I wow. love them like crazy. Um, but then on the other hand, I had a teacher who, who, who was, it wasn't like he was a bad teacher because I didn't like him. He was just not the best teacher. Mm. <laughs> he just kind of let us do whatever. Mm. And um, he would show a lot of YouTube videos. One time there was something very inappropriate that shouldn't be before Uh-oh. the eyes. And he didn't realize it until it was already in front of our eyes and went to turn it off really quick. Whoops. This was a, a Christian high school. Whoops. And I was the son of the pastor. Of the mm-hmm. <laughs> so I think he got a little nervous there. Yeah. So. But, um, but yeah, I mean, the, the stark contrast between a good teacher and a bad teacher yeah. is quite stark. It's stark. It's stark. <laughs> it's stark. I uh, I really miss chatting with you. Yeah, man, this is good times. I miss it too. Let's uh, let's not have such a large gap next time. Let's do it next week. Okay, cool. It's a date. 
Let's do it. Get back to weekly. Let's do it. I need it. <laughs> yeah, me too, dude. All right. Anything else? That's it. Thanks for listening. Oh, we got a oh, uh, talk Ed, about it. We got an Etsy shop now. If uh, with like t-shirts and coffee mugs and all sorts of cool things, socks, phone cases, socks, all most of with our faces on it or what fun logos. What else could you want? There's a cereal as breakfast soup shirt. There's um, sh- there's all sorts of fun stuff. It's a, a whip shop. So a work in progress, a W I P. So the Etsy, just look up a W I P shop and that's us. And then uh, if you up. get some to support, ch- support the channel, mm-hmm. uh, we'd greatly appreciate it very much to very see much. if this is a viable thing to continue doing in the future. So yeah, that's the goal. That's the hope. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being a part. We love you guys. Bye. Bye Bye-bye.